All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are venturing out on a new adventure in a new, strange world. This is, of course, Ark Survival Evolved. And today, we are starting our journey on the relatively newish, rather unknown Kabbalist map. This is a modded series, but not modded in the way you might think. There are no uh, OP mods. Or this is not a complete rework, uh, such as Primal Fear or anything like that. This is a v vanilla-esque server with quality of life mods and some really cool stuff just to make your viewing enjoyment a lot better. I'm scared about what's going on over here, though. Hopefully they leave me alone while I'm just doing my intro here. But either way, this Cabalis map is a fantastic new map. I say new. I don't really know how new it is. It's pretty fleshed out. I believe the mod dev uh, has said that the surface is over 95% complete, and they're working on adding new areas, tweaking it, optimizing and stuff like that i've already submitted a couple bugs one of which is right here oh no oh please tell me i didn't just fall in that and i did okay well <laughs> as i'm talking about the bugs i fall into one okay i was able to get out thank goodness so there's a giant hole right there under the mesh yeah i've already reported that That'll be fixed in the next update. But, basically, this mod, the premise for this is that this is an equestrian uh, equestrian map that was full of these horse tribes. These tribes of uh, warriors that rode on horseback. And the whole map is focused around these tribes who have long since gone. But... Oh, I'm dying from this cold. All right. Anyways, we'll just talk. If I die, I die. Basically, the way this map works is it's the left-behind world of these equestrian horse riders. It's got its own rich lore and everything like that. The map is absolutely massive. Uh, I flew around in single player uh, just checking it out. It's absolutely massive. And uh, I'm super excited to play on it. it. It's really gorgeous. It's got these cool little starter kits. Uh, there's nothing OP in them. Like just some cloth loot. A sleeping bag. Just some stuff to get you started. You know what I mean? Let's actually throw this sleeping bag down. Because I'm definitely going to die to this cold. But basically, this map I've decided to kind of bring as my premier arc adventure on the channel here. If I throw this gear on, am I going to stop dying? No. Give me a point in the fortitude. So we do have some mods on here. Just to make... Oh, that actually did stop me dying. Uh, we have some mods on here that will make the series more enjoyable. But most of the stats... I believe all the character stats and the dino stats are completely vanilla. I have one point something... XP, I have three, three times harvesting, maybe four, and then like five times taming, because I just don't want to sit around forever taming stuff, right? I'm sure you guys can understand that. I picked up my own poop. Don't want that. So basically, this is going to be a exploratory, uh, do-it-all kind of series here on the channel. It's a little bit different from my regular content, but I hope you guys will uh, enjoy the ARC stuff. I've played ARC now for mm, <laughs> a lot longer than I care to admit. I'm into the thousands of hours on ARC, so I wanted to kind of bring you guys... I'm staying away from those hyenas over there. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys a game that I truly enjoy. Uh, the... the Planet Zoo stuff is not finished. I will be picking up Planet Zoo back up again here very shortly. Uh, in a, just addressing 
my absence from Planet Zoo. It's not that I've been burnt out with the game. I mean, what it is is that Planet Zoo is a very uh, creative game, but that's all there really is to it, right? It's just creativity. And some days I just don't feel creative. I want to do other things, right? So I, I will continue to play Planet Zoo because I really enjoy it, but art kind of gives me the best of all worlds in the sense, and what I mean by that is that uh, with Ark, I have it auto unlocking Ingram's mod on here because this server is uh, single player. As you can see, it pauses my game if I hit escape. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. Let me just finish my thought here. Uh, with Ark, it allows you to be creative, it allows you to tame dinosaurs, tame creatures, as well as. Uh, you know, fight things and adventure and stuff like that. So it allows me to be creative as well in the building, but it also gives me some other things to do when I'm not necessarily feeling creative. So I hope you guys can understand that and uh, respect my choices to bring additional content to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it either way. I like to think that you guys watch my channel for me. <laughs> And not just for the game I play. I know that isn't, obviously, isn't the case for a lot of things. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button so I know that you are enjoying the art content. And uh, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. So, basically, early game arc, what we're going to do, we're just going to run around, gather stuff up. But, yeah, as I was... Uh, as I was saying, is that this is a single-player game. I play Ark with my friends on a cluster server, but we're super advanced over there, right? Like, we're all teched up. We have all the most OP dinosaurs. We're into, like, mutation breedings and stuff like that, right? Like, we're fully progressed already, right? So I wanted to give you guys a fresh series on a map that not too many people are covering, but is absolutely gorgeous, you know, like as you can see, it's it's a beautiful map. Uh, once we get into it more, you'll see what I mean. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of start fresh. So I am playing this on single player. I'm not going to be adding it to a server as of yet, just because I can't really at this stage in my life. Uh, I'm not at the point where I want to pay for a server of my own just to play on by myself, right? But, you know, you never know what the future might hold. I might add something like that in the future. Let's get some pants and a hat. Uh, but, yeah, that does come with certain limitations. Uh, I've had to go and add simple spawners to ensure that certain creatures are spawning onto this map, as well as... Uh, the some of the difficulties come from like the Ingrams thing, right? I don't know if you guys are aware, but on single player, you don't actually unlock enough Ingrams to unlock everything. So if you're playing alone, uh, yeah, you just can't essentially, right? You can't get all the things. And I could cheat and get them, but I didn't really want to do that. So I added a mod to just basically unlock the Ingrams as we level. Now this does not uh, unlock tech Ingrams or anything like that, as well as uh, the level 135 stuff that you get down here. This all has to be done through Ascension and stuff like that. And as you can see, the Mutator Cloning Chamber, all this stuff is also unlocked uh, either via Ascension or via Chibis, right? So uh, it's not cheaty stuff. It's just allowing me to play the game at its full potential without having to use uh, s like command codes to give me the Ingrams and stuff. So that's that. But basically, the server here, I'm basically going to be playing this in... A oh god, that's a Rex over there. We're not going that way. I'm going to be playing this almost in like a little bit of an RP setup. If you notice, we have these Ecos mods, which are just fantastic. These are the Ecos Empire mods. So there's a few different ones I've added here. We've added the Romans, the Khmer, uh, the Babylonians, uh, the 
Tokugawa, and I believe, I thought there was one more. Ah, the Vikings, right? So the Vikings is the big one that, you know, obviously fits the theme of this map very well, being that it's like this equestrian horse. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm, oh, rip, rip. <laughs> oh, God, those kind of scared me a little bit. All right, we're going to respawn at the sleeping bag. I'm not sure if this area is really going to work out for us here, but we'll see. But yeah, uh, basically, this doesn't have anything. Oh, it does. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Every time I respawn, it comes back. It's interesting. Oh, God, there's hyenas over here, too. There's hyenas everywhere. Oh, God. Um, Let's try and just make our way out of here. But yeah, basically... I'm going to... And there's aloes over there. What is this area? I think this is classified as a medium area, so it's not super easy, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's try and just beat feet out of here. Uh, but, yeah, with the Eco's Empire stuff, basically what I'm going to do is uh, periodically throughout our playthrough here, I'm going to be essentially switching tribes, so to speak. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm dead. Rip. 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 Oh, God. Yep. Bye. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's maybe select a different area. West zone one, easy. South. Where do I want to spawn? These are all hard. Uh, let's go to, no, no, that wasn't it, to West Zone 1, okay, yeah, so I'm basically going to be switching tribes, so to speak, as we go along, and basically using the unique building, uh, materials from each respective empire, if you will, so we'll build a little, oh, this one's really hooked up, uh, these little starter kits are great, by the way. Oh, I got two picks. Okay. Let's just throw that down. Yeah. What is that? Tech Parasaur. Uh, so basically, yeah, we're going to be building in each tribe in, you know, like their kind of building aesthetic, if you will. And uh, we're, we'll decide what area we want to build each empire's stuff in. And we're going to just... Uh, use that as kind of a guiding point for our builds and stuff like that, right? Because uh, you guys know me, I'm I'm into the creative building and stuff as well. So we're not going to neglect our creative building just because we're playing a new game. You guys are still going to get cool builds and stuff like that from me. That's what I love about Ark is the ability to just use your imagination and create these massive structures and forts and bases and stuff excuse me some other mods that we have on this server are the castle forts and keeps uh that allows us to just do a bunch of uh cool building stuff uh we have the pick up dinos mod this is a mod that i don't care what you say i'm not playing any server ever again without it <laughs> it, it allows you to uh pick up your creatures like pokeballs so to speak and uh, it, it's just the coolest mod ever. And uh, yeah, we're going to be using it. I don't care if you don't like it. <laughs> but no, you know, honestly, it, it's a, a fantastic mod. Uh, it allows you to do so much stuff and uh, basically just store your dinos so they're not cluttering up your space, clogging up your FPS and stuff like that. But also it allows you to like see things in your... Uh, like see your dinos stats see if there's any mutations on them and everything like that as well, right? Let's just get a little lay of the land here So there's a dillo over there. That's not too bad. Maybe we'll go kill him for some hide Okay, so this is standard beach affair by the looks of it. Oh, we got griffins up here. I Don't want to go too close to them right now But one of the mods we do have on this server is called immersive taming now, Immersive Taming is quickly becoming one of my favorite mods of all time. And what it allows us to do is... Where'd that Dillo go? Uh, it allows us to tame creatures in a more, well, immersive kind of way. 
instead of just simply knocking things out and sticking meter berries in its butt, it allows you to... Uh, oh, God, you're fast. It allows you to tame creatures by hand-feeding them or allowing them to pick up your food that you have tossed on the ground. And it goes in like a tiered based system. So as you first feed them, they're still going to be apprehensive of you. They're going to, you know, not be super friendly still, of course. But as you progress through the taming process, they'll start following you around. You can pet them to gain taming percentage and stuff like that. It's just a really cool way to tame creatures. And it adds a little bit more... Uh, intricacies to the game it, it's not hard by any stretch it doesn't add any more difficulty but i don't necessarily think it takes away any difficulty either i mean like normally you would just sit on a tame shoot it with, with tranks until it's knocked out and then put food in it right so this is essentially the same thing except for instead of knocking it out you just kind of follow it around and give it food so yeah in the next video or two, we'll probably use it to show you what I mean. Let's get this Dillo here killed as well. But yeah, it's a super cool mod, and it just basically adds some variety to the game, right? I've been playing this game for so long that just simply knocking stuff out and giving it food, it gets kind of old, right? So, oh, I can't see anything. Oh, God. Come on, buddy. Yeah, come out where I can see you and stab you in the face. Oh, man, that was super dramatic. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want your hide, bro. But up here, yeah, look at these guys. So this is one of the mods I added. There are creature mods on this server, but I tried to keep them as vanilla-ish as possible. So there are is the Arc Editions collection. So that adds a ton of really awesome creatures that are super just... You could slot them into the game and no one would even know that they weren't vanilla. They're, they're that good, right? So the, the Arc Editions is in the game and I can't for the life of me remember what this... This one is, uh, I believe it's called Marnie? Marnie Wildlife, I believe? That's it, right? So this is essentially an Ovis. So you see it, it wants vegetable cake. But, uh, yeah, it just adds some different skins to different creatures. Some of them have, like, little flavor abilities and stuff like that. But it's still just vanilla-ish creatures, right? So, again, the, the key to this mod is... Or, sorry, to this map and what I'm trying to accomplish with this series in a long-winded manner is I want to have the different tribes, the different... Uh, empires if you will and then i just want to have like a very a varying mix of creatures and creature selection that we can mess around with and tame and all that sort of stuff so that's kind of what i'm going for with this series i hope you guys enjoy where we go with it if you have any requests or you want to see certain things make sure to let me know down in the comments but all in all let me know what you think of the art content in general uh, I know this game is followed by many and played by tons of people as well, but I want to know what my fans, uh, I call you guys fans because I love you all, but you know what I mean. Uh, I want to know what you guys think about it, so let me know down in the comments below. Let me get just a little shack started up here. We're not going to build anything special. I basically just want... Uh, some simple crafting stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to tame a creature using immersive taming and just try and move around the map a little bit. So maybe we'll tame one of these goats. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll take a look. But I want to basically just get a little hut thrown down, maybe a bed or two just in case I die, right? Again. <laughs> As we've seen, death is already... Uh, come to say hello to me all right just throw down a little thutch th 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 thutch in words uh a little thatch pad let's get us a campfire going did i already make a campfire i think i did didn't i oh no that was on my old dead body good 
All right, we'll just throw a campfire down right here. Get some of this meat cooking up. And we'll split, oops. We'll split all this up to start getting some spoiled meat as well. We don't really need the spoiled meat per se because of the immersive taming, but uh, I'll, I'll get it anyways. So let's make a couple beds. Got our mortar and pestle here. The immersive taming requires you to have uh, spark powder. So that's why we're getting the mortar and pestle right away. I'm not going to put any walls on this just yet. I think in the next episode we'll we'll try and find a, a cool place to call our home to start with. And then uh, we'll build up a little uh, house for us to live in. But this episode, I just kind of want to get a foothold. Maybe get something to ride around on. Is that a Capro or a Sarco down there? Okay, we see some Parasaurs. Those might be cool. I believe those are camels as well, which is part of the wildlife mod. So we'll, we'll venture down there and take a look in just a minute here. Uh, but in the meantime, I need to craft a bait station. What do I need for that? Okay, so I do need the spark powder. So let's toss in flint, stone. Why don't I just stick all my stuff in here? There we go. I did boost the uh, crafting speed here of these benches just because, you know, who, who has time to wait for all that nonsense, right? I want you guys to enjoy this series, not sit around waiting for me to finish crafting 18 spark powder, if you know what I mean, right? So I hope you can look past that. I know some people are like, why do you even mention it? Who cares, right? But I know a lot of other people are like vanilla white knights, you know, mods are evil, you must play with vanilla, you know, that kind of stuff. But I just, I, I don't get down like that. I have, I've played this game for far too long to, let's see, can I make 15 of these? No. Okay, let's get some more berries going. I played this game for far too long to just deal with the, like, uber grind, right? Like, I've beat all the bosses. I've done all the things on, like, not official. I don't play official ever. That's just masochism, right? But uh, I've done all these things without, like, super boosted rates or anything like that. And like I said as well, all the dino rates and player stats and stuff on this are uh, vanilla as well, right? I haven't boosted any of the stats on dinos or anything like that, right? So I, I hope you guys can understand why... Oh, crap. Give me that stone back. I want that. Yeah, why I've added the mods that I did and why I like to play the way I do because... I just can't be bothered with the tedious grindy stuff anymore. Let's get rid of these seeds again. Now, let's see. Let's get some baits. Can I make 15? I can make 10. Okay. And what am I going to be short on? Probably the spark powder, right? Yeah. So let's get a little bit more spark powder going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at my muscly, ripped body. Oh, yeah. What a hunk. Give me that flint, bud. Let's get a bit of stone while we're at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Early game arc is the best arc. You know, just chopping trees, chopping rocks, getting killed by hyena dons. Wow, that rock <laughs> went for a journey. But, yeah, early game arc is just the best. Once you get into, like, higher tiers and stuff, the game is still fantastic, but you, you, you miss these early moments, you know? What? Give me that. Yeah, that's fantastic. I love that increased crafting speed. 40, okay. Plenty. All right. So let's take some of these out of here. Yoink. All right. So I'm not going to tame this. T oh, God, that griffin's getting close, man. That is not good. <laughs> I might need to, like, lead him away and then, like, die. 
That is not good. All right, so I'm not going to tame this turtle. Uh, is this guy a higher level? No, he's a lower level. Okay, I don't want to just tame him instantly. Let's try and get this griffin out of here, actually. So let me store my stuff. Can I put a couple points into movement speed? Yeah, I can. Okay. Get a little bit of movement speed going. Let me just store all my stuff. Put all that stuff in there. Let's go aggro this griffin and try and get him away from us. Because this is not good. These guys are super strong. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hello? Oh, dear. Oh, man. One hit and he just decimated me. Oh, God. Well, that was stupid. I might need to, like, use a bow and arrow or something on this guy. Oh, man. Wow, okay. That did not work out as planned, did it? This guy's going to become a pain oh god all right um let's make a bow can i make a bow yet bow 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 yes i can give me one of them let's say 10 arrows no flint all right this is why i left oh come on this is why i left my stuff here so I can <laughs> get it back into it. <laughs> oh dear, this griffin, man. Level 95 griffin just chilling right outside my spot. Alright. Let's try this again. Arrows. Arrow, arrow. Ten of them. Alright. Okay, Mr. Griffin, let's try this again. I'm going to try and get over on this side here. And then peg him with an arrow and see if he'll come at me. Man, that guy just like nearly one-shot me though. Did you see that? Right away, instantly broken bones. Can I get up here? No, I cannot. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Can I even hit this guy? Huh. Oh, this is rough. Shoo! Nope. Blah! No, that was way off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I almost hit that goat. Oh, God, my aim is trash. Doesn't help that he's so dang squirrely. Come on, bro. Huh! No, oh, that one hit. <laughs> that one hit. I call shenanigans. Oh, Griffin, please. Get away from my stuff. I didn't think I'd need this. Oh, I thought he aggroed on me for a second. Arrow. Let's get 25. Seeing how I suck. Shabam! One time. Nope. Okay. <laughs> this is this is turning out to be a whole thing. Yeah, I got him that time. All right, run, run, run. Is he coming? He ain't even coming, dude. Seriously? I hit him for sure, so I don't know why. There we go. Really? I know I'm not going to be able to kill him like this, so... Hopefully he'll eventually just get mad. Oh, missed that time. That was a fail. Yeah, 55 damage is just tickled in this thing. I'm not going to be able to kill him like this, obviously. Alright. What are we even doing here? 
Like, why won't he come after me? Oh, now he's coming. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Really? Come on, bro. Is he still coming? Oh, what is he doing? He loves that goat, man. Maybe I should, like, aggro the goat. Maybe that would work better. God, this is a nightmare. Now I'm, like, dead. I can't move. Oh, God. Didn't mean to eat that stim berry. Oh, well. Give me some energy back. Do berries even heal you? I can't remember. I didn't even notice. Let's see. I don't think they do. Oh, man. Maybe I'll try and shoot the goat that he's trying to kill. And then the goat will come after me and I can run away. Is it the goat or the turtle? Looks like the turtle he's after. Yeah, come on. If you come after me, he'll come after you. And then we can lead him away from the base. That sounds like a plan. Is this turtle going to be able to get up this hill? <laughs> this is such a nightmare. <laughs> no, turtle. Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, run. Oh, damn it. Okay, maybe he's on the other side of the hill now. Right? <laughs> maybe. Let's just take a look. Let's respawn here. And we'll see where he's at. Please be away from me. Please be away from me. Damn it. I mean, that's farther away than he was. But we're going to have to leave this place very soon. Anyways, you know what, guys? I think that we'll call that a day. We died a whole bunch. We accomplished nothing. I think that perfectly sums up a day in ARC. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys tuning in to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. There will be more Planet Zoo content coming with the new aquatic pack. And you can look forward to more ARC here on the channel as well with this Cabalis series. Thanks again, guys. I'm Reckless as always. Bye-bye.